Hi everyone, my name is Matt and welcome to a Hobby Hour Painting Guide. Today we're going back into the old world and we will paint this high elf archer in an old school style army standard. There are a few popular ways to go about painting armies and I kind of use a hybrid approach. Some areas might get contrast paint, some dry brushing, and some get the traditional shade and layered highlights. I'm starting off with a gray and white zenithal style prime, which I did with spray cans. Since this elf will have pretty light colors, I went a little heavier with the white spray. Paint the skin with some Dark Oath Flesh contrast paint. Next up, I'm using some off-white by Vallejo Game Color for the cloth and bow. Even over the white prime, this will probably take a couple thin coats. Next, all the metal areas get an even layer of iron hand steel. Now give the metal areas a shade with Tyran Blue. Now use some Drakenhof Nightshade in the deepest recesses and leave to dry. Now that the shades are dry, I'm using an old brush to lightly dry brush the armor with Stormhost Silver, followed by a thin line highlight around the edges of the helm. Make a mix of one part Seraphim Sepia to two parts Lamian Medium and shade the off-white areas. Keep it thin and try to prevent pooling. Once that shade is dry, Highlight it back up with some thinned off-white. A few thin layers will keep the surface smooth. Now paint some thinned black paint into the recesses. This is called black lining. The brush is always going to have some overspill when doing this, and I find it best to try and control where that overspill is going to be. So I'm trying to make the edge where it meets the white cloth as clean as possible. 
It's okay if I get some of the black on the armor trim, since I haven't base coated that yet. Paint the leather areas with Gorthor Brown. Use some black Templar contrast paint for the arrows. Base coat the hair with Screaming Skull. When the hair is dry, give it a thin glaze of Cassandora yellow. Shade all the leather areas with a mix of one part Sigor brown contrast paint to two parts contrast medium. While that's drying, shade the hair with Seraphim Sepia. Base coat all the green areas with Warpstone Glow. This paint is pretty transparent, so you'll probably need two coats. Shade the quiver with Beal Tan Green. Next, base coat the orange with some Fire Dragon Bright. This orange paint is pretty transparent, so you'll probably need two or three coats. Next, paint the orange with some Magma Droth Flame, thinned with a little bit of contrast medium. It's kind of functioning as a shade while also making the orange richer.
base coat all the gold areas with Retributor armor. Paint all the gems black. Next, paint the gems white leaving a thin black line around the edge. Give the gems a base coat of Imperial Fist Contrast Paint. While that is drying, shade the gold with a mix of one part Gorgrenta Fur Contrast Paint and two parts Contrast Medium. Paint some thinned Troll Slayer orange onto the top half of each gem, followed by some thinned Wild Rider red on the top third. Thin some Kislev flesh with water into a glaze-like consistency and highlight the skin. Next, use some Flayed One flesh on the edges. Paint the eyes black first. Once that's dried, then carefully paint some white, leaving a thin black line around it. I got a little bit of white paint on the helmet here, but that's okay, because I can touch it up later with silver. Then add in the pupils with black. Mix a little white into Warpstone Glow and add some highlights, concentrating on the edges.
then add some more white for the next highlight. Highlight the edges of the orange areas with Fire Dragon Bright. Highlight the leather with some thinned Gorthor brown, then mix in some white for the next highlight. Finally, highlight all the white areas with pure white, and add some reflections on top of the gems. Any brand of white paint is fine. Personally, I use P3 Mara White. For the bases on this army, I paint the sand with thinned Mornfang brown, followed by a light dry brush of Baylor brown, and then Screaming Skull. The rocks are painted with Dawnstone, and then given a mix of Nuln Oil and Agrax Earthshade. Lastly, I add a few patches of static grass with super glue. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please click the like button below, and don't forget to subscribe. I've got lots of new content in the works. Until next time, happy painting!